Okay, I thought I'd shoot a short video today. I've seen in the Gatton CNC Facebook group a lot of uh, comments about uh, having trouble getting Mach 3 going again once they've had their desktop or their laptop crash. And I thought I would shoot this video and kind of talk about some of the files that you should be saving or backing up to a safe location so that you can get back up and running uh, really quickly. Let's take a look here. I've got my Mach 3 screen. Of course, one of the files I think you should save. It's not a, that big a deal, really. But, uh, you know, if you've already got Mach 3 on your uh, computer and your machine is, you know, running perfect and you've got this all tweaked out, go ahead and save the Mach, uh, Mach 3 installation files. That's the, the little zip file that you download. Uh, that you use to run that, you know, there's a lot of different versions of Mach 3. Some of them are more stable than others. So if you've got a real stable one and your machine is running great, you know, save that file somewhere in a backup place. Uh, you can probably find it on the whatever computer you have connected to the Internet. It's probably in your download files. Uh, I'll talk more about that here in just a minute. Another file that you're definitely going to need is your Mach 3 license file. If you've got a paid uh, license and you're not running the demo version, you know, you're, you're going to need that when you reinstall Mach 3. And I'll show you where to find that here in just a little bit as well. But it should be in the root directory of your Mach 3. And um, like I said, I'll show you that here in just a second. Another thing uh, that you're going to need if you've got any machine profiles here. If you look over here at this screen, you'll see it's down here where it says profile in the lower right. It says Gatton CNC. I use several different machine profiles. I have some, one for my rotary axis, one for a laser, uh, one for some different controllers that I use. Just depends on what I'm going to, you know, which machine and what controller I'm going to be running um, with this Mach 3. So I have several different uh, machine profiles and I'll show you where to find those and uh, you know what file you're looking for there. Another one, if you've got this thing tweaked out, like say you've added a touch plate and you use this Auto Tool Zero, that means you're gonna have a script. Now the script is a, something that's probably just gonna be a, a, a notepad file because you're adding this text and I'll show you how to do it here. You would come over here to um, Operator, come down to Edit Button Script, and you can see the buttons flashing. So if I wanted to save my uh, Auto Tool Zero script, I would click on that and that pops this up here. And here is the script right here. So I would then highlight all of this, copy it, and then I would paste it um, to just a, a notepad file. And I'll show you how I've done that um, and show you that here in just a little bit. Uh, and then finally, any custom screen sets here. This looks like uh, the default Mach 3 screen set, but it's actually uh, got one little addition here. It's got this little, uh, if you look where my arrow is here, I've got this green LED that flashes um, or lights up when you uh, touch your touch plate to test it before you actually zero that out. So, you know, you might have something else. Uh, some folks run that big text, the blue one and all that. You need to have that screen set. If you've got it all tweaked and adjusted just the way you like it, you need to make sure you save that as well. So now let me show you where uh, where I'm keeping these things. Here you see I've got uh, a USB thumb drive in or a flash drive. And you can see I've got a folder called CNC backup files here. Uh, let's take a look and see what I've got in the folder called Backup Files for Mach 3. Here, uh, the, the first one here, as I mentioned, uh, you know, saving the installation files. This I got from my download folder uh, on my main computer, and this is the uh, zip file. Or Actually, I, I don't think this is a zip file. I think it's already been extracted. But it's, uh, it's the file that I use for the particular version of Mach 3 that I'm running. So I know if a computer craps out or a, desk, a laptop craps out or whatever, I know when I go to reinstall it, I'm going to be putting the exact same version that I've used before on there. Okay, the other thing I mentioned was the Mach license file. That's my license file there. If you don't have that, 
uh, you're only going to be able to run it in demo mode unless you can figure out a way to contact them and uh, talk them into sending you another copy of it. But you should always have that backed up somewhere. Um, so I've got that. Uh, the other one was all the XML files. Let me just click type. You can see I've got uh, one with G3 CNC. I've got a couple different ones there where I'm trying different setups. Gatton CNC, one with the Hobby Box. Uh, these two are the default ones. Uh, but I also would mention if you have didn't create a new machine profile, but you just edited the default one, which would be Mach 3 mil, then yeah, you need to save that one as well uh, because that you know that's going to have all your updated settings in it. If you just don't get that and then you have to reinstall Mach 3, it'll put that uh, XML file in there, but it's going to have all the default settings. So that's not going to do you any good. Uh, and then here's the one I have for my rotary axis. So you can see I've got several different XML files. I've got them all tweaked, got the settings just right, and I don't want to have to re-enter any of that stuff if uh, my, my computer crashes and I have to start over installing. The other one is the, uh, I mentioned the custom script. This is my touch probe script. And if you look, it just says text document. And if I double click on it, you'll see that it's nothing more than a notepad file where I just put all this text in here. So if I lose a computer and I have to start over, I can just edit that button script and just copy and paste this into it and then adjust it as needed. Um, if you get the one from one after you've already tweaked this, you can see here this one uh, says 060 and I use a, a 1 8 inch aluminum angle for mine. So I really should go ahead and change that or just copy the one from, uh, from my laptop that I'm using to run the machine. And then I would have the right one here. I would still need to tweak that again. Okay, and the last thing I mentioned was the custom screen sets. Uh, the one I have with the, uh, is right here, this 1024 Imperial dot set. That's the screen set that looks like the default screen, but it has that little LED, um, uh, LED light that will light up when you're uh, testing your touch probe. Okay, now let me go back here to where I had CNC backup files. And while you're at it, if you're backing up your stuff for Mach 3, you might as well back up the files that you need for other things as well, too. Uh, you notice here I have a folder called UC CNC Backups. If you click on that, you see that I have the zip file for the UC100 auto, uh, auto installer. I like to use uh, the UC100 along with Mach 3. Uh, so I need the drivers to, to help that to work right. So here I've got that backed up as well. When you look here, I have my UC CNC license file that is specific to this particular uh, UC100. I don't really need that when I'm using it with Mach 3, but if I do want to run UC CNC software, which I also have, I need that file as well. So I've got a copy of that. Uh, backed up on this same flash drive. If I go back up here, you can see I have a folder named Vectric 2. So if I click on that, you can see that I have a license file. Uh, it's not really that big a deal because Vectric is always going to be around where you can go to the portal and get that stuff, or you may have it saved in an email somewhere. But, you know, it's always good to have these backups handy all in one place so you can get back up and running as quick as you can. Also, here's the setup file for version 11.003. And again, that changes all the time. Every time they do a new update, uh, you'll need to uh, back up the latest one and put that on that thumb drive as well. Okay, before I go any farther, let me go show you where you can get some of those files. I already showed you where to find the script uh, for the Auto Zero and you know various scripts like that in Mach 3. Uh, you can just copy and paste those and put them in a notepad file. Okay, here I wanted to show you where to find these files. I'm right now, I'm on my C drive in the Mach 3 folder. And if you just, if you, the easiest way to find the XML L files, which is your machine profiles, is just to hit type and it'll put those all in, a, in order. So here you can see here, it lines them all up here. These are all the ones that are machine profiles. So it's real easy just to highlight this, hit 
uh, push the shift key and go down to the bottom and you can uh, cut and paste all of those. Well, I should say copy and paste all of those to your thumb drive um, in the folder that you're wanting. Another file you want to look for is the, there's the Mach 1 license file right there. So that's another one I want to save. Custom uh, screen sets. They are also in this, uh, this is the default one here, the 1024. And then there is a, somewhere if I can find it, let's go with the name. Okay, there it is, 1024 Imperial. That would be the one I have with the uh, LED. I want to back up that one as well. Now, as far as the Mach 3 install files, I'll come back over here real quick. If you go to the download, and right there is the one I was looking for. Um, and that's the, that's the uh, version that I know that I'm using and it's nice and stable. So that's the one I'm going to get and copy it and put it in the backup folder as well. All right. I hope this video is going to help some people. Like I said, the, you know, when a computer crashes on you, it shouldn't be a big deal at all. Uh, and you, you, if you have all this stuff backed up, you should have all this stuff backed up where you can just get your thumb drive and plug it in. And within just a matter of minutes, you'll be back up and running in no time. And you don't have to spend any time tweaking everything, you know, trying to get it just the way you had it before. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating than to have everything running perfect and, you know, something happens. And then now all of a sudden you got to go back, and try to remember what those settings are. And if you're like me, there's no way you're going to remember them. You have to have them wrote down or uh, saved somewhere in the file safe. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. If um, you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.